Hey, y'all. Don't worry about that, okay? Let me put my glasses on so I can see. Mm-hmm. Little teachers used to have it at the end of their nose like that. Girl, don't be looking at me. I ain't even doing anything. Not literally, I ain't doing anything. But anyway, y'all know what we do. Y'all know what we do. Welcome to the comedy show. I'm Keisha, your laid back host, H O S T. Okay, because my daughter thought I was saying H O. I'm like, why would I say that? Girl, go sit down, take several seats, okay, before I kick you in your body. Um, but any, welcome to the comedy show. I'm Keisha, your laid back host. What you want to know? I'm gonna ask because I'm just here to make you boo, to make you laugh, boo. To make you label. I can't turn my head, y'all. It's okay. Anyway, so I just want to come to talk to y'all for a little bit today. Did we have a good time on my birthday? Ooh, baby, that was a good time. I think I'm still thanking God for that. I really am. He's so amazing. You know, I couldn't gather with you guys, but God gave me the idea just to bring the party to you. Everybody love me and just love on me. I needed that. I love y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all something. My daughter's a hater. So she just called me. And the first thing she did was bust out laughing. My husband talking about me. She told me, some mama, like, you literally, you broke up. Like, you could be in a whole body cast. It's okay. You know why? Because God got me this way. And he got me this way for a reason, okay? Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Let me fix my little head scarf for y'all. At least I can try to look cute or something. You know what I'm saying? Cute or whatever. Let me see. Because girl up under here is hot to the mix. But anyway, y'all. <clears throat> for you guys that don't know. My birthday was September the 6th. And I did like a virtual birthday party. And there were three parts to it. Um, each part came with a film before to let you know, hey. It's a birthday light of candle. It's a birthday. This contraption. <coughs> Listen, you guys, I've had two spine surgeries. So maybe a week or two ago, um, my orthopedic spine doctor gave me this. It kind of like aligns everything when I'm trying to take a nap or go to sleep because girl, I'd be waking up in a lot of pain. My freaking neck be spaz and shoulders be spaz and all that kind of stuff. But this like helps it. It really does help. I look kind of stiff, you know, when I'm laying down. Yeah. Ooh, I, I, I had a visual. I'm sorry. Okay, but anyway, yeah. So, um, yeah, this is what's going on, but it's okay. It's okay. Hey, Gigi boy. Hey, oh, you know what? I hate flies, y'all. It's this one fly keep flying around my ear and stuff. It'll land on my head, on my nose, on my. I, I ain't got time for all that. Don't land on me nowhere. I used to watch this show called Monsters Inside Me, and honey, this one boy he ended up losing his whole eye because the freaking uh fly landed on his eyelash and laid an egg. I'm like, uh-uh, see, that's why I don't do bugs. I don't do any kind of bugs. Like, I just don't like bugs. They, they freak me out, okay? But anyway, so like I was saying, you guys, so don't, you know, be alarmed. Oh, my God, look at Keisha. Something is really going on. Something's been going on with me for years and years and to on through the years. It's okay. 
God got me. Baby, he got me. But my husband was like, look, last night he said, can you not break nothing on the other side of your body? I was like, don't be cute. Boy, go ahead and go to bed. But well, anyway, I did have an accident. You know, the, the day after my birthday was my anniversary, me and my husband's anniversary. It's our anniversary. Yeah, anniversary. Yeah. Tomorrow will come. And baby, we ended up in the yard. We showed it. Look here. Let me show y'all something. <clears throat> so I just got my knee sleeve on. My knee is still healing also because um, they had given me two medications that didn't correlate. And it caused the cartilage in my knee to break. So they had to remove that part because it was just floating in my knee cavity. So they removed that. And then they um, puncture hole and holes in the remaining, and it's supposed to form like a generic. But my doctor told me, like, you really have to be careful because if I take a really, really bad fall, it'll be like somebody stepping on a Coke can. I was like, oh, God, no, I don't want a Coke can. But anyway, <coughs> so I had my full brace on. So the night after my birthday, it had to be maybe like, 1 30 2 o'clock in the morning i had put my puppy up and i was like you know what i just want to spend time with my cat can i spend time with her just for a little bit just just for a little while so you know i was like i'm gonna walk up the steps i never do you guys mean i never go upstairs ever i don't know why that night i was like i'm gonna go upstairs i'm gonna go get my cat you know i usually just ask the kids to bring her to me Everybody was asleep. My husband was asleep, which my husband don't like pets at all. That's why I be like, oh, he love me. He don't like pets. He said they creep him out. Anyway, so my oldest son was asleep. My twin daughter was asleep. And I was like, I'll be okay. I'm going to walk up here. So I held the rail going all the way up. And I had like my full, full knee brace on. BJ, look at that. I can't even look at him right. BJ, will you go uh, on my bed and get my full knee brace, please? It brings in. So I had my full knee brace on and I'm so glad I had it on, y'all. Because I was like, Lord, it could have been a whole lot worse. So anyway, I went upstairs to get her. I was holding on the rail all the way up the stairs when I went to get her. So when I got her, she was in her little bed. She was curled all up all cute and cozy. So I picked her up like a little baby. I said, Oh, look at my baby. So I was just going down the steps with her. I had to, oh yeah, here go. Here go my, my full knee brace. So I supposed to have this on too. Uh, I'm gonna put it on in a little bit, but I got the sleeve on because look, we'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, I had my knee brace on. Thank God for that. So as I'm going down the stairs, I mean, I literally was very cautious. I was taking little baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Baby, when I tell you, you know how you know you finna fall. And ain't nothing you can do about it. I'm grabbing air, hoping. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can hold on to it or something. Honey, I went straight up in the air and I heard it. My foot, it was like, like that. It went inward. I fell, hit my head on the floor. And when I turned, my cat in my prayer room looking at me like, you dummy. I was like, oh my God. And everybody was asleep. I screamed my husband's name. I screamed my, my oldest son's name, my twin daughter. I screamed her name. Well, nobody heard me. So my baby boy, he is like right by the living area. So I was like, tight in. He said, mama, I heard that big old boom. And then I was like, wait. He said, as soon as I would wait, you was like, tight in. So he come out here. Baby, I mean, I knew, at first I thought, I'm like, maybe it's just a sprain. Maybe I just sprained it, you know, but uh-uh, girl, that thing on foot store having a heart beating and stuff. I was like, oh, Lord, what's wrong with it? So he finally helped me to the couch, and I told him to go give me an ice pack at the freezer. So we had no ice pack in the freezer. So we had a frozen water bottle. I was like, well, honey, that'll work. So he got me a little towel. We wrapped it around and everything. And I had ran out of Tylenol, so I had told him to go in and see what your daddy got. Look at your daddy nice thing and see what he got. I don't care, as long as it's something for pain. So um, he had some uh, ibuprofen PMs. So I popped the two, two of those, and then I actually I was able to go to sleep. But girl, when I woke back up, when she woke up, when she done this, baby, mm-mm. 
that thing still was throbbing and bobbing and ducking and dodging out honey it still had the heartbeat in it and i could not walk on it like the bottom of my foot was so swollen so my husband he went he went to work the next day um i mean that day anyway because it was our anniversary he was like baby i'm just gonna go in for a few hours you know i was like okay so but when he got home i was like baby we gotta go see somebody something ain't right so we ended up going to a walk-in clinic and they um they took x-rays and everything and they was like you need to see your orthopedic tomorrow like as soon as they open so um she was like yeah it's broken and i was like dog you know i'm like i just i'm just now letting my my trying to get my knee to heal up and everything and now my foot are you serious i was like oh god okay like you doing too much but it's all right but anyway so we ended up yesterday going to see my orthopedic which um he only does you know shoulders arm hip stuff like that because oh yeah i had a torn label in my hip a few years back too when he done it so yeah um we ended up seeing his partner in the clinic and i was so nervous because i was like oh he gonna get me he gonna get me and then when she come in she was like yeah you messed it up pretty bad she said did you see your film i said no ma'am i didn't and she was like wait a minute i'm gonna pull them up so she pulled them up for me and i'm looking i'm like okay what, so what, what we're gonna do she told me right now we're gonna keep you in the splint and we want to put this boot on you but i want to follow up with you in two weeks she said i want you to know right now that it's gonna get worse before it gets better and she's talking about pain wise i'm like okay so, here's my boot, y'all. I know y'all don't see. Let me see if I can lift it up. This boot. Looking like a whole special person. Oh, wow. And then they had your freaking balance out. I just like, I just look retarded. Like, I'm a, a broke down superhero. But, it is what it is. I just thank God that I did not break my neck or you know what i'm saying something like that but yeah i don't want to see no stairs don't talk to me about no stairs don't stay nothing close to steps don't if i'm watching a movie steps in it i'm cutting it out whatever i can't do it but any to the ways god has his way of making you be to the steel because i am you know i've been going through a lot like a whole lot the past two years and my husband he was like baby you don't know how to just go from one to like three four you go from one to a hundred so me i'm the type of person i just i can't i can't stand like laying around if it's clutter or like the floor need to be vacuumed so he's like well baby yeah that's that's understandable but like you'll be like okay i'm just gonna vacuum the floor you'll clean the sofas up fix the pillows spray the couches and all that stuff he said, but then you'll do that. And this thing I know, I come out here. You done swept, you done mopped, washing clothes, folding them. And you don't, you don't need to be doing all that. You know, you ask your children, ask the kids to help, ask me to help. And I said, well, when I see something need to be done, it's just me. It's just, whew, that's who I am. Y'all, Lord, I need a break. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, I want you to know I am okay. I'm okay, and I'm going to be okay. You know why? Because I serve a God that does everything but feel. He does. He does everything but feel. But, um, yeah, you girl, I've been through a lot. But, baby, I tell you, my faith is not easily shaken. I love, I, I love Jesus. I'm in love with Jesus. Ain't nothing going to ever change that. Let me just tell you something. We fall down. But we get up, we fall down, but we get up. For I say, it's just a sinner who fell down, but got back up again. Got back up again. That's me. I fall down. But baby, let me tell you something. I'm getting back up. 
I'm getting back up. I don't care what nobody say. I can't even roll my neck like I used to. Uh oh. Okay, let me just do it and uh, just do the whole neck and the head. We get up, boo. We may fall down, but we get up, boo. Mm. We may fall down, but I'm gonna get back up. Cause I fell down, baby. That don't mean you gotta stay down there and get up. If you need me to help you, I'll help you up, okay? But just get back up. Don't lay down water in it. God loves you. He loves you with everything in him, okay? So don't worry about that, baby. You know, God knew what you was gonna be doing before you even knew it. It's okay, though. God loves us. He loves us so very much, and he's there for you. So if you fall down, baby, get back up, okay? Don't wallow in it. It's already done. Just go to your daddy so he can fix it for you. Jesus, he will fix it. Yes, he will. Jesus, he will fix it. I wish I could dance, y'all, because I can't. Jesus, he will fix it. Mm -hmm. Jesus, he will fix it. Oh. Jesus, he will fix it. He'll fix it, okay. He will fix it. <clears throat> Let me get a little coat. Look coat, coat, classic. I'm thirsty. I need a straw. But anyway, guys, I just want to come and tell y'all again. I thank y'all so much. You just not understand like what you guys did for me for my birthday like that just really lift my spirits because i had just got back from vanderbilt and we didn't get good news so i was just like oh, what what woody what woody 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 but you guys made my day so beautiful and i thank god for each and every one of you y'all know that y'all know i love you and when i love baby i love okay it's unconditional there's nothing you can do all you say but it's gonna change that boo it ain't gonna change boo if god put you in my life it ain't gonna change boo i love ya Okay? Put this leg up. That's honey. She, she throbbing. Mm -hmm. Jesus, he will fix it. Don't be sliding now. Uh-uh. 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 Where you going? Oh, she trying to be cute. Anyway. She, she, boy. Hey, my she, she. Come here. Come to mama. Come to mama, she, she, boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, look at my she, she, boy. He's my baby boy. Yeah. He's my baby. He's your boo boo. Shoot, your name should have been sniffing because you always got to smell somebody. What is that? It? Quit sniffing so much. Honey, we sniffing. But this is, this is my baby. Honey, he watch me constantly. He's going to make sure I'm good, honey. He want to make sure my mama is good. And don't be messing with her and don't be talking about her because I will fight you, boo. Mm hmm. Yes, he will. This your mama, she, she, baby. My husband got him for me right at like eight weeks. He was eight weeks old, so he done got big. Now, he'll be one in November. But he is just a, such a precious, precious little baby. And him and his sister cat has been so good to me. He got mad at her last night, y'all, because we put her in, her, in his bed. I'm going to add that little clip in there. Oh, he was mad. She was mad too when you said it. So. But I just want to come to you out today and just let you know that I'm still thinking about you, even though I'm in these contraptions and stuff, baby. Yeah, I ain't finna get away from me. I don't care nothing about that. God got a work for me to do, and I'm gonna do it. Broke down, tore down, whatever. Sure. Like I said, we fall down, but we get back up. I got work to do. She got work to do. You think this was gonna keep me from y'all? You thought this this word was gonna keep me from y'all? No. If anything, it's going to make me stronger. I can't stand that fool. He be trying to the me. To the T-A-D-A. It's okay. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory Satan to get thee behind me, cause victory is mine, victory is mine, victory today is mine, and 
victory today is yours too, boo. Whatever it is that you're going through, you think you can't get through. Let, let, let me tell you one thing. Keisha loves you, boo, but God loves you, biz. We may never even meet one another in person, but let me tell you something. When God places somebody in my life, trust and believe. Trust and believe. It was not by chance. And Keisha's going to always be praying for you, loving on you. You will never be too far from me to where I don't feel you in my heart. And never too far from me to baby where I say I'm down on being the need for you. Oh, yes. That's the kind of love I put out because God gave me that love, which is unconditionally. Ain't nothing going to keep me from you. Who, boo? Who? Who, boo? Who, who, who? Can't stand. He don't like me either. He did it. Punk it. I'm sorry, y'all. I felt cuss for it. All right. Anyway, well, yes. Baby, if I love you, I love you. That is not going to change. I love everybody, though. My daughter, she's like, well, I'm happy you love everybody. I said, because God love me. You know, I love people the way God love, which is unconditionally. They ain't do nothing to me. Shoot, we've been through too much. <laughs> me and God been too, through much. Ten toes down, he been there for me. Sure. I would have never made it. Never would have made it. Never could have made it. Without you. I would have lost it all. This is my microphone, y'all. Now, nah, let me do this. Let me make sure it's tight. Now, I don't want to spill cough on me. Never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. I would have lost it all. But now I see how you were there for me. Never would have made it, Lord. Never could have made it without you. I would have lost it all. But now I see how you were there for me. And I can say I'm better, I'm stronger, so much better, Lord, because I never would have learned it now. I never. Without you, I would have lost it all. So y'all yeah, tell God, you know you never would have made it if it wasn't for J-E-S-U-S. J-E-S-U-S. I said, his name J-E-S-U-S. Mm, he's the man with the plan. Yeah, he's the man with the plan. <laughs> this is what you call debilitating. <laughs> Dance, but she gonna get it. it. Her hands still work. Uh, uh. Who y'all? Y'all don't know how. Wait a minute. Y'all don't understand how much energy that takes, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. What you say? Only day. It's okay. It's all right. What you say? Only day. Yeah, let me just catch a little wind. Let me catch a little wind, please. Okay. Just a little bit. Just a little win, okay? Yes, honey. Look, let me tell y'all something. When I told God to use me as his vessel, honey, he just went crazy. It's okay, though. It's okay. I'm all right. I know what I said. I know what I was getting into. Because I need Jesus. All of him. His presence. I hunger for it. Thank you, Jesus. I need him. Ooh, Jesus, get some more wind in them lungs so I can talk to y'all now. Okay, well, get in there the best way you can, honey. Get in there. But anyway, I need some air on, too. Come on, fan. Get to working. What you got blades for? Come on. Use them. Shoot. You got a purpose, too. It's to cool me out. Oh, my God. Quit acting brand new. Ooh. 
Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to come to my boo-boo tutorials and let y'all know, ain't nothing going to stop this show. Ain't nothing going to stop this show. I'm going to come see about you. I'm going to come and see about you, boo. Anyway, I just want to come to you guys and let you know that I love you. You know that with everything in Keisha, I love you. I'm always praying for you, whatever it is that you're going through. I pray that the good Lord just continues to take care of you, be a fence of protection around you in all aspects of your life, in every area of your life. Shall God bless you abundantly that your cup runneth over. See, when God pours things into you, he needs you to pour it into others. Don't be selfish, is it? Look, don't be selfish, okay? Spread the love. Spread the good news, which is Jesus Christ. He came because we all were worth saving. Don't forget that. Stop being cute. You know that. You see somebody down, don't kick them while they down, honey. Pray for them. Lift them up. We all have times when we down, and we all get discouraged, you know, and need somebody. Don't be too don't be too cute out there thinking you don't need nobody. We all need somebody. We all need somebody. I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. We're all a part of God's body. It is His will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. Y'all hear me? You are important to me i need you to survive i need you to survive too baby okay keisha is here for you 10 toes down i ain't going nowhere if god put you in my path put you on my journey put you in my life he did it for a reason i ain't going nowhere i ain't going nowhere if he put you in my life if he put you on my journey hey i'm right on here okay y'all just want to come let you know I love you, even though, you know, I'm discombobulated. I don't care nothing about that, boy. Every time I turn around, he be trying to be cute, do something to me. Yeah, me thinking I can. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly. That's how I was feeling when I was in the air. Then it said, boom. God said, you fool, you can't fly. You ain't got your wings yet. It's okay. Whatever. But anyway, guys, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you so very much. Trust and believe. If God put you in my path, you are covered in the mighty name of Jesus. You are covered. I'm praying for you constantly. Pray without ceasing for those you love. Yes, Lord God. Father God, I pray that you continue to just do your will in our nation, Father God, and bless us to be vessels while we're out here in the world, Lord. We have to lead by example. We don't know who you've placed in our life, what trial and tribulation they're going through in their life to where you had to use us as vessels. So, Lord, continue to do what you do. And like I said, that's everything but fail. Keisha loves you, baby, but God loves you best. And if you don't know about your girl, Keish, let me tell you something. Uh, all you gotta do is click that cute little bell. Look at here, I lost draw. Hold on, my mind went somewhere else. Click the subscribe button. Go ahead and click the little bell notification. Give your girl a cute little thumbs up, okay? And go ahead and leave me some love below. You know, but make sure what you're saying, it came from God. Don't be being cute, okay? Because I'm not the one. I don't play with grown folk, and I sure don't play with say. And I tell y'all that all the time. I ain't, got, I ain't got that to do. God got to work for me to do. And baby, I got to fulfill that. What I like playing with Satan, and he got me doing work. No, honey, I ain't got that to do. Shoot. Oh, 
I'm sorry, y'all got caught up because that's how I talk to him. I can't stand him. He's all ragged as hell. He trying to come for me every time I turn around. Boy, you know who I serve. You know who I serve. You know who I serve. You scared, ain't you? You scared, ain't you? Let me tell y'all something. All you got to do is please the blood of the lamb, baby. When you smack him with the word of God, girl, he flee. We just ain't got to tell. Tuck between his lips. With his little ragged stuff. I can't stand that fool. Can't stand him. Can't stand him. Can't stand him. Hmm. My neck was hurting, y'all. I'm sorry. That's how you know when something mm -mm, good. That's what I be doing when I be thinking about God. I be like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. Okay, y'all. I hope y'all have a beautiful, blessed remainder of your day. And again, Keisha loves you, baby, but God loves you best. Continue to pick up your cross and follow God daily. Yes. Yes. It's going to be a lot of trials and tribulations while you're, you're walking your walk. But I'm going to tell you one thing, baby. God is in the front. He's in the back. And he's on both sides. He got you. He got you, boo. Covered. You covered in the blood of the Lamb. It's okay. It's all right. It's to make you stronger. Whatever it is, whatever place God got you in right now, it's to make you stronger. And it is to lift him up. I know sometimes it's heavy and you get scared and you're frustrated. But keep your mind fixed on Jesus. Keep your heart fixed on Jesus. And ask for his presence, baby. Ask for his presence. See, I like God to saturate my membrane with his presence. Because, baby, if I'm thinking about him and uh, my heart is fixed on him, my mind is fixed on him, that leaves no room for old raggedy to try to sneak in. I can't stand that fool. Oof. Oof. Okay, y'all. Father God, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus, Father. And we just thank you for the blood of the Lamb. Father God, we thank you that you came that all of us may have a, tree, a chance to the tree of life. Father God, you came because you knew all of us were worth saving. You said in your word, Father God, in John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Father God, we thank you today, Lord. We thank you, Father God, that we can come to you even at our worst. Father God, we thank you for choosing us, Father God, because if we had anything to do with it, Father God, we wouldn't even went that way father god but we thank you today for covering us for protecting us father god i pray that you bless each and every person that comes across this video father god continue to bless them and cleanse them from all unrighteousness father god i pray that you continue to strengthen them where they're weak build them up where they're torn down father god and i pray that you bless them with people that love them and father god if there's anything in their life that's unlike you i pray that you remove it in the name of jesus whether it's a person place or thing father god so they can live you lift you up and give you the glory that you you deserve god we thank you today oh god we thank you for the cross father god we thank you today for forgiveness father god we thank you lord that you blessed us and give us an outlet that we can repent oh god father god we thank you that you are a god that delivers oh god father god we thank you father god that you are a god that restores oh god we thank you lord god we thank you father god that in the end you will get the victory Father God, we thank you that you are the final say. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that you chose us as vessels. Father God, I pray that you continue to allow Keisha to decrease so that you can do a work in her that it brings you glory and praise. I thank you, Lord, for every person that you've placed in my life, whether they were for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. But I know the stage in my life I am in right now, and uh, life is too short. And I know right now, Lord, I ain't got time for nothing but lifetime people, lifetime people. God, I pray that you continue to use me, that it brings you glory. Continue to just have your way with Keisha, because God, I know what you're capable of. I know what you're capable of. Father God, you've been the ultimate physician. Oh God, you've been my bridge over troubled waters. Oh God, you've been my lily in the valley. Oh God, you've been my bright morning star. Oh God, and God, you are my best friend. My best friend. 
Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, and bless each and every one, each and every one under the sound of my weak voice. And Father God, I pray for our nation today. Father God, I pray that the ones that don't have it right together, Father God, I pray that you continue to just allow them just a little more time. And I pray as believers, you continue to let us, let our light shine so men may see and glorify you in heaven. There's still time, Lord. There's still time and there's so many that we need to take to the, the throne of grace and just lay it at your feet and let you have your way. God, I thank you for who you are in my life. It's not about what you've done because, God, you've done more than enough when you took everything that I may encounter on this side to the cross. So I thank you today, God. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. And God, I pray that as I believe you continue to show me how to put on the whole armor of God, pick up my cross and follow you daily and pray for my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Encourage them when they're weak, build them up when they're torn down. That is what you've called me to do. And Lord, let me continue to walk according to your will that they will see you and we will bring more sisters and brothers into the fold. God, I love you, I adore you, I magnify you, and I lift your holy name. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. I love you guys so very much, so very much, so very much. I love you, Mama Cuzzo. Girl, you know I love you with your little cute, silly self, sure. That's my baby. That is my baby. It, it's like, you know, you shouldn't have your favorites, but I do have a few favorites that I watch on YouTube, and they know who they are. They know who they are. And Mama Cuzzo is one of them. I know you Mama Cuzzo, but girl, you know we close in age. So I don't look at you as my mama. Because if I look at you as my mama, that means you had me at five years old, girl. What you doing at five? You too young. Girl, you're supposed to be doing that. You can still drinking on some leg. Don't be cute, okay? So, uh, no, Mama Cuzzo, my sister. She my big sister. <laughs> you my big sister, mama. Mama Cuzzo in the house. Mama Cuzzo in the house. She's in the house. She's in the house. So you watch your freaking mouth. Don't talk about her. Don't do it. Don't. You burn. You burn. I say nothing about my sister. Woo! I'm sorry. That was Kiki. She came out. She ain't got no sense. Okay. Girl, go on. I'm trying to talk to the people. You showing up. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I can't turn my neck. I always got something cute to say. Okay, yeah, I gotta go because she's trying to be cute and I'm not the one. I be the bust off, freaky. Oh, wait a minute. She ain't gone yet. She don't mean to kill. Wait a minute. I gotta pull that down, y'all. Y'all can't be looking at my forehead. She ain't together. You know what I'm saying? They put a little blush on her today. You know what I'm saying? A little bronze. Woo! Okay, y'all. Love you. God loves you best. Okay? And go ahead and do what you're supposed to be doing in the Lord and stop being hard headed for you be looking like me. Shoot. Dang. I love y'all. Till the next time, boo. Yeah.